Welcome, Pisces. <laughs> we got some jumpers. We're going to talk about what they want to say to you. What do they want to get out their chest? What do they want to say to you that they're not saying? All right. Oh, I didn't see this jump out. Mmm. Mmm, Pisces. Let me get one more card. And then we're going to jump into this. Thank you. So if, oh, so if you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am the Empress. So glad to be here with you guys. Um, if you would like to purchase your own personal reading, um, that information is in the drop box below. As well, if you want to check out my merch to support the channel, that information is below. As well, if you would like to follow my merchandise page via Facebook, the name of it is Empress Empire Merch, okay? So if you have purchased from me, please don't hesitate to leave a review, okay? So let's talk about this, guys. This is a general read, so it may or may not resonate. But let's talk about what we got here on the table, okay? Pisces, I feel like you could possibly be dealing with someone that is uh, extremely focused on their career and their finances, Okay, we got I'm focused at work. All right, we got I'm focused at work. Okay. And I feel like this is big because you may be dealing with someone that you feel like um, maybe they don't open, they're not as open. Um, and I feel like they're doing that to protect you from their ego. Okay, because we have I am quiet to protect you from my ego. Okay. Now, if they do open up to you, Pisces, and they are vulnerable with you and show you, um, you know, that they're ready to communicate, are you willing to listen to them? Because they got, are you going to listen to me? Are you going to listen to me? Okay. That's major. Okay. That's, that's some heavy. That's heavy. That's real heavy. Let's talk about it. Let's get a quick look. I want to see what the cards have to say. Um, what do they want to say? What do they want to say to Pisces? What do they want to say to Pisces? Ooh. Oh, wow, Pisces. Okay. Pisces. <laughs> Lots of cups. You could definitely be dealing with the water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But let me turn this around so you can see the cards. So as you can see, Pisces, we got the Page of Wands here at the bottom of the deck. We got the King of Swords. So somebody is speaking kind of harshly or giving off this King of Swords energy, which is very, you know, cutthroat, straight to the point. Like, they don't really sugarcoat anything, okay? They may be coming off as that. Oh, I'm getting that. Some, you could be in the limelight, Pisces. I got the Queen of Wands and the Six of Wands. Definitely someone who's getting a lot of attention. Someone who is being fierce and being recognized, okay? So... Let's talk about this, okay? I feel like this person wants to either join in on the fun, want to be a part of this with you, um, or wants to connect with you and rekindle with you with this Three of Cups, okay? This King of Cups is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio's energy as well, okay? But I'm getting like very emotionally invested and tied to you as well we got the ten of cups which is a family unit okay which is emotional fulfillment this is these two cards here symbolize like a rekindling a reconnection so some of you could be dealing like with an ex okay 
or someone that you've already encountered um, and possibly there was some type of uh, breakup but I'm definitely getting I'm getting um, very emotional lots of water here so I'm getting an emotionally invested person like this person really does care about you emo care about you like they care they want to reconnect rekindle um let's get some clarifiers here i want to see why the three of cups is here yes see look the knight of cups this is an offer okay this is an offer this is inviting okay an invitation i feel like they want to invite they want possibly either want you to invite them over and hang out or vice versa okay Oh, somebody here is doing very well financially with the Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. So somebody here is possibly like very, very um, independent, very spoiled, very uh, kind of like when they're high horse here. But I'm getting like they want to be invited. They want to be included. I'm getting that as well. Like they want to be included. Lots of water. All I see is water energy here. Four of Wands. They want to be invited to your home. They want to uh, kick back. You know, if, you, if there's a meetup at the room, at the hotel, if that's how y'all do things, they want to be included. They want to be invited. Okay? Um, I feel like... They may feel like there's no effort being put in or something isn't didn't work or there's no effort being put in. Um, and I'm getting like somebody here is their intuition told them to to wait because something wasn't going to work or something didn't work. But they definitely want to be invited. I'm getting invited over to your home, invited over to your condo, invited over to your, your kick it spot. They want to be included, okay? Why is the King of Cups here? We got the Hierophant. So being that we got the Hierophant, the Four of Wands, and the Ten of Cups, this could be someone that you're possibly married to. I'm getting like a husband, okay? This is husband energy, okay? And I'm getting like somebody, somebody, um, we got the chariot card, Cancer's energy, but there's forward movement. So somebody's moving forward. They feel like you could, you know, have moved on or move or moving forward um, and possibly without them because we got them here with the five of cups energy, crying over spilled milk, crying over spilled milk, regretting that, you know, and wishing that they could have worked together and cooperated and built something together. Okay. Somebody got abandoned or left out in the cold. We got the five of pentacles. So somebody got abandoned or left out in the cold. Okay. I'm seeing that. Mm -hmm. There could be a separation. For some of you there, you guys are separated from this person. Or y'all are on a split or a break. Okay. And then we got you guys' energy and the Six of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. Okay. Emperor. Justice. You guys are manifesting here. I see that as well, too. Like, you guys are possibly, like, making yourself a boss. I'm getting that as well, too. Why is the Ten of Cups here? The Strength card. Okay? The Strength card. Leo's energy. You could be dealing with a Leo. Okay? I'm getting somebody is super spoiled. With the Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn's energy. I'm getting somebody is very strong and independent and happy. Um, like they feel like you're happy. Like you're you're strong. You're showing your strength. You're coming off very strong. We got the King of Pentacles. Okay, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So some of you, this this could have been a relationship with an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, 
Oh, I'm getting an argument. I'm getting a disagreement, a really big disagreement. Okay, but we got the temperance here, so it has the potential to be balanced out. But I'm feeling like it has these issues been balanced out because I'm definitely seeing that there could have actually been domestic violence here. The, the seven of wands and the five of swords definitely could have been domestic violence, could have been a really big argument, like things got really, really extremely out of hand. Okay, there could have been an argument over money or tangible things. Um, Things to that nature. But with the temperance card here, there needed to be some healing. There needs to be some type of balance, okay? So somebody needs to find some type of balance or healing in this situation. But I'm getting like somebody wants... I'm getting like they really want to be included in what you have going on. They want to be around you. Yes, yeah, see, nine of cups. They want to be around you like this is a wish fulfillment for them. They want to they want to flirt with you and be open with you and communicate with you. Okay? But I feel like somebody has some some anger issues here like with the 5 of wands and the 9 of swords, there's like really competitive energy or someone is like very um extremely emotional has anxiety issues. Okay, there's there needs to be about a talk about the past and what happened in the past. Somebody is extremely guarded here. Why is the nine of cups here? This person wants to this the, the downfall to this situation is I feel like this person may want you to feel how they feel, how you left them feeling. Um, I'm getting that as well, too. Yeah, I'm getting like, they want you to feel how, they want you to see how it feels. Somebody is working on multiple things with the three of pentacles. Like, they might see you working on multiple things here. Multiple business ventures with the Ace of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles here. But I'm definitely getting like, they want to make you feel left out. Like like you don't are included or you uh, don't matter. Because that's possibly how you left them feeling. Okay. That's the Four of Swords here. Yeah. Temperance. Could be done with Sagittarius. But I'm definitely getting like... There is something, there's some healing that needs to be done, okay? I'm definitely getting that. That's, there needs to be some healing. There needs to be some balance in this situation, okay? Somebody has, like, like a real potty mouth with the queen of swords. Like, she's not going to spare your feelings. Mine's the four of wands here. The devil, okay? Definitely, I'm getting Capricorn's energy. Um, I'm getting, I'm hearing too, like, they may feel like you want a provider, like you want someone who is financially stable, um, and this is what is going to provide you, provide your happiness, okay? I'm getting that there's a conversation possibly um, with a Capricorn here about some habits or something like negative vibes, okay? Why is the page of wands here? And three of pentacles. The emperor. Somebody's a business owner. Somebody's telling somebody that they're a business owner. I'm getting a boss. Boss chick. A boss guy. Like, I'm doing my thing. I'm getting that. Like, somebody's telling somebody that they got, they got a business. Okay, the truth comes out about something here. Ooh, somebody's trying to make somebody jealous. Okay, so somebody's trying to make somebody jealous here. I'm seeing that as well. But 
I feel like your your person, like the person that you're thinking of, they want to reconnect and rekindle with you, but there's some issues that need to be balanced out and worked out first, okay? This person may feel like, you know, they they're just deciding to put their focus in on work and career. They try to keep themselves busy. Um, and they're trying to keep quiet so they won't their ego won't overflow into, you know, like um, there's just so much that they possibly want to say, but they may feel like they're not sure how you'll take it, okay? And they're not sure if you're going to listen to them anyway, okay? Oh, yeah, at the bottom of the deck, um, I know we will be together, okay? I know we will be together. So they probably feel like, you know, I can come back to this, you know, let me work on myself, let me fix me, all right? That's what I'm getting, guys. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below, and I will chat with y'all later.